Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes. This is standard 3.6a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got four different figures and we just need to find a statement that appears to be true about all the figures in the group. All right, so let's turn on our graph draw feature. Let's expand it, make it a little bit less transparent here, a little bit more transparent actually. Turn on our draw feature. Now we can annotate all over this. All right, so what statement appears to be true about all the figures? So we need to find something true about all four of these figures. Let's name them real quick, right? So this is a figure one. It's going to be a pyramid. Specifically, it's a square-based pyramid because I've got a square at the bottom. Figure two is a rectangular prism. Right? And then figure three, look at that. you got two triangle bases kind of stretched out. This is a triangular prism. And you might not have seen this one very often, but take a look at figure five, right? Take a look. You've got two bases, and they're each five-sided shapes. This is a pentagonal prism. So we're going to represent that as just pent prism. So we've got some prisms working here, except for that pyramid. All right. So all the figures have at least one rectangular face. All right. Well, pyramid, yes. Uh, the rectangular, er, everything is a rectangle. Let's at least say that one, yes. Uh, figure three, yeah. Even though it's a triangular prism, the two bases are connected by rectangles. Okay? And then, huh, yeah. Same thing with this pentagonal prism. It's t two pentagons stretched out, connected by rectangles. That looks good. All right, let's check out B, C, and D. Make sure that they are incorrect. B, all the figures have at least one triangular face. So I'm going to change my colors on each of these here. Uh, change to green. One triangular face. Well, I've got a triangle here. Uh, but you know what? No triangle on this rectangular prism. I do have a triangle here. No triangle here on the pentagonal prism. Okay, so B is no good because all the figures do not at least have one triangular face. All right, let's switch to blue here. All the figures are prisms. Okay, well, look at my titles. All right, I said prism, prism, prism. Okay, this is pyramid is not a prism. A prism, right, you need two identical bases or two congruent bases that are connected with rectangles, okay? So in this one right here's your base and here's your base stretched out connected by rectangles. So we've got two triangles connected by rectangles. We've got two pentagons connected by rectangles. The pyramid only has one base. There's not a matching base on the top. So this is not a prism, okay? And then let's see if yellow is going to show up. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so yellow, all the figures are polygons. What do we know about polygons? Polygons are closed and they are straight. Well, it doesn't look like the, any of these are open. doesn't look like any of these are going to have uh, curved lines like a cylinder or whatever. But you know what? Polygons, that seems a little bit strange. Oh, that's right. Polygons are two-dimensional shapes. Polygons are flat shapes like rectangles and squares uh, and rhombuses, not necessarily three-dimensional shapes. So A is going to be our best answer. Let's close that out, select A, and move on.